In the following lesson, I want to discuss the eyedropper tool, the color sample tool, and the red eye tool. Basic, three basic tools, not so important, but good to know for a beginner. Right away, let's start out with the eyedropper tool. At the top in our application bar here, you can see again this changes. And also on the right hand side, I went right away into the info palette here. So now when I hover over my image here, I can right away have a look here on the right hand side. I can right away see the values from my RGB colors and CMY colors if you need to have those for press. So again, I can also sample a certain area and to get the same color here. Let's just go a step back. So again, I have my foreground colors set to black and white. And say for instance, I want to sample the same purple that we have here in the top in the hair. I can simply select the eyedropper tool, click on here, and even hold clicked and move around. And right away you'll see that we get to a new color here, a darker purple. And right away our foreground color also changes to that color. If you want to click once again, it will change again. So let's select a darker purple over here. And now we can switch with this little arrow here to our background color and also select again another lighter color. Now both of these colors has been set. Again, our foreground is to a darker purple and the background to a lighter one. And if you double tap on this, you get into the color picker right away. You get the values here and also the hashtag number if you need this. Okay, so basically a super easy way how to sample color and get certain color tones quickly with the eyedropper tool. Yellow, dark, brown, white, whatever you want from a certain image, you can always find out the values here very quickly. Then let's also head to the next one, which is the color sample tool. This works a little bit differently. You can now set spots to remember these. So let's again select yellow, the dark yellow over here will be spot number one. Again, in your info palette here, you will see now under hashtag one here, these are the perfect values again for this color. If we have lighter over here, that's the second, the third, and you can create a few more as much as you like in order to find out the perfect colors. To be honest, throughout your Photoshop career, you will not work so much with this, but sometimes when it gets to printing, it's important to know these things. All right, so that's basically all. You can then again clear it and you're out of uh, this and your info palette is clean again. Then lastly, we still have the uh, red eye tool, which is basically a tool to remove red eyes. Obviously, I don't have a picture now with eyes, but I want to show you this effect quickly. I'll go to the marking tool, quickly create an elliptical marking tool here, just around selection. I've already created a new layer. I will click inside of the selection, say fill, and fill this up with white color. Great. Command D. Now let's actually stick in there. So this is our base. And then on top, we want to fill this again, this time just with color. And we want to give this like a red color. Hit OK and OK. Now I'm going to press Command D, get out of the selection. And I'll go over to select again the eyedropper, red eye tool. And once I have the red eye tool, I can simply now just move over to my image and click onto the red area. And right away, Photoshop renders that out for me. As you guys can see now, it removed all the red parts. But it also added a bit of blackness there. That's just a weird thing. I don't know why it's doing that. Normally, it just erases everything and you'll stick with a background on white. But just to show you guys again, if you have red eyes, then you can use this tool. Whenever you get more advanced with Photoshop, I guess you'll do this again with hue and saturation adjustment layers and, and mask instead of the red eye tool. But it's good for a beginner.